Hi, this is Susan Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we um, usually are following, are doing shout outs, um, positive, peaceful affirmation shout outs every day, Monday through Friday. And um, usually we're following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive, Peaceful Growth Calendar. Well, something super exciting is happening in the uh, um, aromatherapy community, and that is that doTERRA is having their BOGO week this week and next week, their BOGO days, I guess I should say, because there are six days um, of these two weeks, weeks, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week, and Monday and Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, where <coughs> doTERRA is offering um, these incredible BOGOs. So we're going to lay aside what we usually do and hop on to the opportunity that life is presenting with us with right now. Um, just to let you know, the BOGO box where you can get all five of those oils all at once, all five of those BOGOs all of one, at once. So it's um, 11 oils and um, has been extended. They think the supplies are going to sell out. Um, at noon or before. So, um, just to let you know, if you missed out on the BOGO box yesterday, if you wanted to get them, um, get it, but you didn't, you still have a chance today to hop on and to get it. Let me tell you some of the oils that we know are in the BOGO box. So you have Melissa, a beautiful oil for immune so good for emotional and physical pain, and spruce, a very grounding oil. And um, so those, and then we know that the sixth oil that we know that's part of this 11 oil collection is um, the Cheer Blend by doTERRA. So um, we, we know, there's 11 oils in the box. The box costs $221.50, um, but you're getting a whole ton of oils back and um, and when you when you look at all the 11 oils you get, it comes out to about $20 per oil, but Melissa is in there, and Melissa is usually about $115. So, like this BOGO box is an incredible deal. If you love essential oils, hop on. If you think you want essential oils, if you think that they have value and you haven't hopped onto it, go ahead, create your own account. The nice thing is, for um, doTERRA in July is offering this incredible promotion where if you um, if you open your account with $150, then you get $50 doTERRA dollars put back into your back office. So if you buy the doTERRA box, the BOGO box, you definitely are spending more than $150, and so you'll have that $50 in, in doTERRA dollars to spend on other oils that you want to get. And that will hit your box next month. Okay, so the the song for the for today um, is is Happy by Fair. I think his name is Pharaoh Williams. Anyway, I'll put it into the comments. Um, but it's just an incredibly bright and uplifting song, and it's because it's pairing so perfectly with the bogo of today which is when you buy a um, turmeric essential oil for $28, you um, get the free um, daily bogos are going to be perfect for you. Okay, um, we're going into the cheer. Now it's by, if you buy a, a turmeric for $28, you get the cheer oil free, but um, I'm gonna start with the cheer oil. So cheer. Um, this blend, this blend has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different essential oils or components in it. And I'm going to explain to you about each of them. So, and I'm going to go into, in order of how abundant these oils are in, in the, the blend. And the first one is wild orange. Now, wild orange is the oil of abundance and it helps us to see the world as a more abundant place. It helps us to have hopefulness that our needs will be met. I believe that, that when that God made the world, he made enough and to spare. One of my favorite songs is um, 
a song called There's Quite Enough Room. I'm going to put that this song in the comments too. And basically it says there's there's quite enough um love for all of us in the room and there's quite enough hope and there's quite enough power for all of us in the world. I just um got done watching Hamilton and it was definitely a tragic tragic super sad musical. So um just it, anyways, people make some wrong decisions that just destroys um other people's lives, right? And and why was I telling you this story? Um Oh, this is why. Okay, so uh, go, talking back to Wild Orange and Abundance. So, um, one of the tragedies that happen is that there's a duel and someone ends up dead. And after the duel is done, and, and that's not what really was meant to happen, um, things just got out of hand. And so, after the duel is done, the guy basically says, I wish I would have known that the world was big enough for both of us. I wish I would have known that, that the world is big enough for both of us. So I'm here to say the world is big enough for both of us. It's big enough for me to succeed. It's big enough for you to succeed. It's big enough for me. Not gonna, I'm going to eat healthier foods and you kind of keep breaking that boundary. Maybe, maybe you, um, have certain addictions that you, that you reach for when t in times of stress or boredom or whatever it is. And, and you're trying to set a health, you're kind of trying to break that habit, that addiction. You're trying to set a healthy boundary. Um, whatever the healthy boundaries that you're trying to set, clove essential oil can help us in the setting and keeping of healthy boundaries. It kind of gives us a little bit more of a, no, this is good and I'm going to pursue what is good. Okay. Then it has star anise. Now I love star anise just in the way it's shaped. It's actually shaped like this beautiful little star. Um, look it up. Google it. It's beautiful. And it smells a little bit like black licorice. And I love that smell because it was my mom's, my mom loved black jelly beans and it's one of her favorite smells. And to me, it's just a, mm, I don't even know what type of smell it is, but it, I, I'm just going to say it makes me feel good. So, um, star anise, what they find is it can, it can help us, um, re-engage and reawaken our nurturing side. So if you're feeling and feel, feeling like you want to be nurtured, maybe put some cheer into your diffuser. If you're feeling like you want to nurture other people more, put some cheer into your diffuser. See, see if that doesn't help bring out the nurturing side of you. The next one, the next oil that's in there is lemon myrtle. Now, lemon myrtle is super good for helping to dissolve brain fog. Like, like, you know, those times when you're just like, what do I do? What do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? Or those times that you just have like cloudy thinking and you're just like, I'm not even thinking straight here. So lemon myrtle, a great oil to help dissolve that brain fog and to help bring back clarity of mind, clarity of thought and an ease of seeing really what's happening and um, helping us to make decisions with more ease. Okay, then you have nutmeg in here, and actually nutmeg is one of the components of my husband's, one of my favorite soups that my husband makes. He makes a um, chicken and yoki soup that he copied from Olive Garden, and it has nutmeg. Now, if you make chicken and yoki soup and you haven't put nutmeg in it, you really need to because it is incredible. 
Um, it totally tastes different if you don't have a nutmeg. So nutmeg, you just use it in super small quantities, but it, it has an amazing action. And nutmeg, um, in this blend, it's going to be the part that helps to comfort and soothe our emotional well-being. Hmm. Like when I think comfort and soothe, I think of a mom just rocking a baby, patting a baby, I'm down to sleep. Or I think of yoga, I think of the beach. So if you're kind of trying to bring in some of that comfort, that soothing, emotionally soothing, like a day at the spa, right? That that comforting, um, soothing, emotional feel, again, cheer is going to be a beautiful blend to help bring that in. Okay, now it has vanilla in it as well. And so I had to look up, what does vanilla actually do? What's, what's the use of it in this blend? And it does two things. One, it helps balance hormones, and we all know that if our hormones are balanced, we are more emotionally balanced and kinder. And the next thing that it does is it helps to boost libido. Who knew? Like, I, I, I had heard many times that that guys are super attracted to the scent of vanilla, and so that's why it's used in so many different perfumes. Um, but I didn't know it helps to boost libido too, so there you go, it kind of seems to be a natural go together. So, just letting you know, you can actually get cheer. The, the cheer that will come with this BOGO is the, the diffuser blend that you can um, pop in your diffuser, or you can actually make up your own roller bottle, or they actually sell a cheer roller, roller bottle that you can use as your perfume, um, putting on your wrist, your ears, your chest area, wherever you like to roll on your perfume. Okay, then it has ginger. Now, ginger is gonna be like, I like to think of ginger as the coach that kicks you in the butt and gets you going. Sorry, excuse my language there, but it kind of just kicks you, it gets you in, it gets you going. It doesn't let you make excuses. It doesn't let you stay in victim mentality. It doesn't let you be in that woe is me, um, the world's against me, people are against me, I have no control of my life, no. Ginger is like that coach that, that kicks you and not, not like physically kicks you, okay? Like violence should never happen. But it gets you moving, gets you going, gets you out of your victim mentality, lets you know that you are in charge of your life, that, that you have the power. And we don't need to sit there and assign blame. We can just say, we can just assess the situation and we can say, what, I'm a powerful person. What can I do to make things better? I'm taking charge of my life. I'm taking charge of my my community, my my home, my atmosphere, and um, just a beautiful oil to help do that. Now, okay, I can't I can't talk about being in charge of things without telling you the story that was once told to me at a church meeting, and um, this person. Was talk, it was talking to a church meeting for parents. And it was basically saying, parents, you have the control. Like, your home is in your control. And he told the, st the story of Sully, I don't even know his last name, but he's the guy who was that incredibly brave pilot that when, when birds hit the airplane and knocked out all four of the engines on the airplane, he turned the plane and said, I'm gonna be landing, I think it was in the Potomac, anyway, some river, and I'll, I'll put the, I'll put in this, in here, I will put, um, in the comments, I'll put one of the greatest movies about this whole story. Okay, but, so he basically lands the Potomac, the airplane on the, um, in the river, and everyone is saved. Everyone is saved, like people, this was an astounding miracle, and, and so there's two things that you need to know about this story. One, um, they were saying, go to this air park. And he's like, nope, I don't have enough gas. I can't get there. Go to this one. He's like, nope, I cannot make get there. I will be landing in the river, get all the emergency vehicles out. Now, as soon as the birds hit, I almost want to cry. I almost want to cry when I'm talking about this experience. But I do want to cry. Okay, but I will try not to because I'm talking to you. Anyway, so... Um, the one thing you need to know about co-pilots and pilots are that pilots actually are the ones that usually fly the plane. Like the co-pilot, 
okay, sorry, I said that wrong. Co-pilots are the ones that actually sell the plane. Um, it's the pilot that is there for like the emergencies. So when the emergencies started to happen, Sully, the captain, so the co-pilot co is flying the plane and when the emergencies happened, Sully said two words. He said, my plane. And the co-pilot took his hands off the controls and said, your plane. Now, if we are in positions of responsibility and authority, if, which all of us are in some way, if we are parents, we are in positions of responsibility and authority. And if we are, if we are people, we're, we're responsible for ourselves, right? At least. So, um, I just want to tell two other experiences when it comes to responsibility and authority because it's such being able to set and keep boundaries is so important um and not accepting vi victim mentality is so important so um there was a uh, andy griffith our family loves andy griffith and there's this show where there's this um there's this vagabond that is coming through and stealing things and he likes to live by just basically um, stealing what he wants and fishing and just taking it easy, really doing nothing, really doing nothing to contribute to society. And, and Opie meets him and he thinks he's so cool because he has all this time to fish. He's like, Opie, come with me. And Opie really wants to go and his dad um, intervenes. And the vagabond says, well, who are you to say what your son can do and what your son can't do? And um, Andy Griffith responds, that his son just didn't have the life experiences to make a good experience with this decision now. And so so he, as the dad, was going to make that for him. Now, as parents, we sometimes have to make decisions for our children. We have to set rules. We have to set a boundary. No, alcohol isn't coming into my house. Like, not that we've ever had that boundary tested, because we're just like a family who doesn't drink alcohol. But um, no, we're not gonna bring um, violent shows into our house or whatever else, whatever the, we aren't gonna say shut up in our house or that you're stupid. Like those are boundaries that we have in our house. So, um, uh, Caleb, Clancy or Caleb, can you get me a napkin or tissue to blow my nose, please? My eyes, my eyes always make my nose want to water too. Anyway. So what I'm seeing is, is this blend is a beautiful blend to help us set boundaries and, and to help us take back the control, get out of victim, victim mentality and take back the control, the healthy control, the healthy boundaries that we need to have in our lives. Now, remember, so I was talking about ginger. That's what brought on this whole conversation. Thank you, honey. So remember, when you think ginger, um, think of it as the coach that kicks you in the bum and um, and accepts no excuses. And that is in this blend of cheer. Like, oh. so then it has cinnamon essential oil. Now, cinnamon, I like to think I like to think of the essential oils as having different personalities that bring different gifts to the table. And I pull out the cinnamon when I want the Superman oil, right? I just want to put my hands on my hips. And um, just like when you need, when you need to be powerful, when you need to be confident, when you, um, I don't know, maybe when you need to come to the rescue of yourself or others, whatever, I don't even know. But um, so I mean, I think of it as the Superman oil. It helps to bring in the confidence that yes, yes we can. What, like Bob the Builder confidence, right? The can we fix this? Yes, we can. Can we do this? Yes, we can. It helps to bring in the optimism and the confidence. And my guess, best guess is that if the world were more optimistic and confident, a whole lot more things would get done because a lot of things don't get done because we have a fear of failure. A lot of things don't get done because people have a fear of failure. And, and it's okay to fail. No failure ever needs to be, fin needs to be final. And... Um, 
Anyway, and then the last one, now I don't even know how to pronounce this, Zadravitz. Zadravitz? I've never actually even heard of it, but it is um, in this oil. It's Z D R A V E T Z. Zadravitz. Anyway, and Zadravitz does two things in this blend. even use as your perfume okay so now we are talking okay so the negative um, emotions that cheer can help address is feeling weighed down hopeless joyless heavy-hearted depleted or helpless this blend is not gonna leave you feeling helpless that's for sure and the positive properties that it can help bring in is feeling hopeful comforted believing cheerful uplifted joyful determined and restored oh i love that name that that quality feeling restored okay now we're gonna dive into turmeric essential oil because i am loving it so the first thing you need to know about so remember you buy the turmeric for 28 dollars, you get the cheer for free so um turmeric is the perennial plant um from the ginger family and it has been used for thousands of years in traditional chinese medicine it has a the plant has a beautiful yellow flower but the oil doesn't come from the flower it actually comes from the rhizomes um are those roots i think those are roots anyway so um the use of turmeric oil dates back for nearly 4000 years to the vedic culture in india where it was used in cooking and religious ceremonies turmeric probably reached china in 700 AD, reached East Africa in 800 AD, and West Africa by 1200 AD, and Jamaica by the 18th century. In 2080, Marco Polo describes turmeric and was impressed that it, it exhibited qualities similar to saffron. If you know anything about saffron, you know it is crazy expensive. The plant was called Indian saffron during the Middle Ages because of its beautiful orange-yellow color. According to Sanskrit medicinal um, books and Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic and Yunani, Yunani, Yunani systems. Hold on. Turmeric has um. A long history in the medicinal use in South Asia. Topically speaking, turmerically essential oil is used as an antiseptic and a natural skin care. And um, it can also help with, with, with dandruff. So if your hair has dandruff, it can help with that. In the present day, turmeric is widely cultivated in the tropics and goes by many different names in various cultures and countries. It is still steam distilled from the plant's ribosomes, um, which boast of a beautiful yellow gold color and smell, have a very warm and spicy and earthy smell. So, going into some of the physical benefits of turmeric essential oil. We've already talked about how it's great for cups and scrapes. Melaleuca is usually my go-to oil on that, but I could definitely use turmeric for that as well. It helps with our digestive system and it helps in us being better able to absorb the nutrients. It helps to reduce pain and inflammation. It's great for muscle and joint aches and is one of the top essential oils for those achy hands that people can get. So for that, you're gonna to wanna to put two to four drops underneath your tongue or um, mix in a carrier oil and directly rub onto the the area of concern. Now, I told you that you can ingest turmeric essential oil, and you can. Um, I can definitely add a drop 
to my water and you know if two drops come out that's super fine too and drink that so the thing that you need to know about turmeric essential well about any essential oil when you use it internally is that the only red oil um brand that i would ever recommend using internally is doTERRA essential oil and this is why because they third party test every single batch of essential oils and um so and then they print the batch number on every bottle of oil and you can go to a site called source to you and type in your batch number and you can see exactly all of the tests that have been been done on your batch of oils and all of the results. Like what other company is that transparent? Is that, what other company is that committed to pursuing what is pure, to bringing you therapeutic grade certified pure essential oils? I don't know another company like that in the world and that's why I would only ever recommend ingesting doTERRA essential oils. Now, can you ingest every single oil that doTERRA has? No, because some plants are made to be used internally and some plants are not made to be used internally. So uh, a super easy way to, to um, see whether the bottle of a doTERRA essential oils can be ingested or not is it will say for internal use, if you can use it internally. And it will also have something called the supplement facts on it. And that's gonna look very, very similar similar to like the fact sheet that you will, some, not sheet, but the facts that you'll sometimes see printed on a cereal box. So um, definitely you can use doTERRA essential oils internally or topically or aromatically. So um, to calm a racing heart, you can mix it with a carrier oil, rub it over, your chest area, or you can also put it in a capsule or um, in your water. Turmeric essential oil is great for boosting circulation. You can use it internally. You can put it on, you know, put it in a carrier oil, rub it wherever you want to boost the circulation. It's turmeric is very immune boosting. <sighs> immune boosting. It's like one of those things that are the buzzwords right now, immune boosting. And it can help us fight off the gunk that sometimes goes around communities. Turmeric essential oil, there are so many studies on this. Like, I just want you to hop on. Like, so it's really, really good at boosting cellular health. And so if you wanna have great cellular health, um, hop on to pubmed.com or, or if you wanna know about great, um, how turmeric can help with great cellular health, Hop onto PubMed.com or my favorite site is actually AromaticScience.com. It has studies from around the world and you can just type in turmeric cellular health and see what comes up. Studies from around the world. So it can help. It's very neuroprotective, which means that it can help protect our healthy brain function and it can also help protect healthy spinal function. It, um, for that, you can use it internally, or you can put even a couple drops onto your toes, especially your big toes, and rub it in. Who knew? Like, um, you actually do have reflexology points on your feet and your brains, like those, kind of like your toes. It can promote healthy breast health. It can, um, we can use it in, at times when we feel congested, we can diffuse it to help um, open us up, I would probably diffuse it with like eucalyptus, or we can put a drop of turmeric in like a pot of hot water and put one of those towels over our head, well put a towel over our head and just like that, breathe in that beautiful aromatic steam that's coming out of it, which can help open us up and release some of that congestion. Um, it's great for um, detoxifying. So if you wanna put a couple drops in a carrier oil, on your lower back or your rib cage. Um, that's great to use that way. And it can boost skin health. So it can help bring clarity to your skin. It can also um, help out iron out some of those tiny lines and our fine lines and wrinkles. Um, but when you put it on your skin, you're probably gonna wanna mix it with like a coconut oil. Um, you could apply it straight 
but I would suggest putting it into coconut oil because sometimes it can stain your skin and if it does, it's gonna stain it like a, a yellow color. So you don't want that to happen. So you're just gonna use a little bit if you're, if you're using it for complexion work. Um, anyway, hopping on to the emotional benefits of turmeric essential oil. Um, we've already talked about how it can help smooth, soothe and relax your mind. It can help soothe power struggles and arguments between people. So if you're going into a place that is kind of toxic or combative or argumentative, putting turmeric into your diffuser would be a wonderful thing. Now, I'm gonna talk about diffuser blends at the end of this, so hold on, like stay stay tuned for that um, because, well, we'll talk about turmeric and diffusing it later. So it can help people to, um, it, after an argument, it can be great to use too. So sometimes arguments um, ha um, have people become unrooted, ungrounded, or thrown out of balance, or just kind of thrown out of whack for a while while they're trying to regroup and ground themselves back, calm down after an argument. So turmeric is beautiful oil to diffuse after an argument to help calm things down, help us be more grounded, more centered. Turmeric and also kind of restore a sense of self like have you ever been in an argument and you're like I don't know maybe someone accuses you of something or being a certain way or whatever you're like That's not me, but then you start doing those self doubts. Is that really me? So turmeric can help us become more grounded in who we are realizing that other people might not see us Exactly as who we are and we probably don't see them exactly as who they are either and um, Anyway, helping us come back to our own judgment and, and connecting with God's judgment of us. Well, I mean, I'm going to say, you want to connect with God's judgment of you, like pray and just say, hey, Heavenly Father, how am I doing? And I'm sure he will let us know. Okay, Tameric can help us heal from the discrimination. How am I doing on my time, on my charge? Am I doing okay? Yeah? Okay. So it can help us heal from discrimination um, if we've, if we've, if we've, We've been discriminated against, maybe by our skin color, our our um our gender, maybe by our economic um status or whatever. Um. Anyway, it can it can help us heal from discrimination. And what I love about this too is it can help us calm down our prejudices. Uh, we are human and. Unfortunately, sometimes we have prejudices, whether that's given um, to us from our family of origin, whether that's given to us by our our culture, our TV, our media. Um, anyway, but turmeric essential oil can help calm down those t those tendencies and help us to see and evaluate people for who they are, right? Okay, turmeric can help us release fears. It can help us let go of fears that the world is not abundant or feelings that we don't deserve abundance or thoughts that abundance would affect us in a negative way. So, and we, and some people have those. They have the, the, the world isn't an abundant place. I, I, I'm never going to be able to be rich, right? I think the American dream is no, you can rise. You can rise up, right? Anyway, so, and some people, some of us think, I don't deserve abundance. And if that's you, I would do some real deep core work too and see where is that thought coming from that I don't deserve it. What do I need to fix so I can release that? And then some of us think that, oh, you know, if I was rich, something bad's going to happen or I'm going to become a bad person. And we... With that too, we really need to look at the core of where are these things coming from? Because I'm just here to say that money is a, I'm going to say a, a value, it's a power. And it doesn't have any, any it's not good and it's not bad. Um, but it gives you the incredible, um, well, I'm just going to say power. The ability, it gives you, I don't want to say power, it gives you the incredible ability to help 
for good. Like if you have more money and I'm, I need something, you can help me. I can help you if I have it, right? We can help the world. We can bless the world. The more money we have, the more ability we have to bless the world. So if if we have some um, some ways of thinking that the money is not good, let's let's see where that's coming from. Because money actually has the incredible power to do a lot of good in the world. I hope you're blessed with a lot of money so that you can do a lot of good in the world. And I hope I'm blessed with a lot of money so I can do a lot of good in the world. Okay. Um, and and turmeric can help us work through that and release some of those things that just are not serving anyone. Okay. Um, if we have a lack, lack of confidence or feelings of unworthiness, again, turmeric essential oil can help. It can help us work with each other as equals. Not that I'm better than you, not that you're better than me, that, but that we both have something to contribute to, to what's going on and see each other as equals and as someone who, and as everyone as something that they can contribute. Tameric would be helpful for those who are underpaid and feel like they deserve more. Feel like they're, they're contributing more than what they're actually getting paid. It can help them go in, have the confidence to go in and 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 ask for their raise or or step out into a new venture where they're really getting paid what they're worth. It could be helpful for those individuals who tend to do everything on their own. So, um, here's an example of that. If you're if you're the mom of the house or whoever, maybe you're the dad of the house and you tend to do other people's chores because you think, oh, I can just do it faster, better. I'll let them go play and I'll just do their chores. That doesn't serve anyone. It doesn't serve anyone. Let me give you two examples of this on how doing other people's work isn't serving. So the first example is um, a woman I knew and, I, and um, she made her children's beds their whole life while they while they stayed in her home and she said to me one day you know what I, they're, they're only young for such a short time I want to love on them by making their beds and you know when they get older their wife can take over that and in my mind I thought okay you know what I'm and maybe I was too judgy okay again maybe I'm too judgy so but in my mind I thought I think their wife's going to want them to make beds too. I think their wife's not going to be the one who who thinks that that's their chore. You know, that... Anyway. Okay, that's just one example. Now, the other example I have is my mom. Well, not my mom. But my mom had a friend um, when she was, uh, you know, in her 20s. And, um, and this friend, and they were, they were both living away from home, my mom and this other girl... And um, we're roommates. And this friend every week would pack up all of her dirty laundry and send it home to mom. Now, this is back in the 50s. Anyway, would send her clothes home to mom to be washed, dried, ironed, and sent back beautifully folded in this box. And what my mom said to me later about this was that this woman's marriage, this woman did get married. And her marriage had so many troubles and it didn't last. And and what I think was the reason is that this person didn't learn how to take care of themselves and how to, to take on responsibilities. And so in my home, like I didn't want this happen. I didn't want my children's marriages breaking up for inability to do things. So in my home, we each have a day to cook. We were supposed to make two days on our day sometimes we don't like we're not perfect but we're supposed to make two meals on that day it could be breakfast and lunch breakfast and dinner lunch and dinner whatever and then we we all go all like all of us we go through all of the different chores and we switch we hold our chores for six months we get them in january 1st and we stop them in um january in independence day so july 4th right and those are the times that we change and so we hold a chore for a very long time, so we learn how to do it well. Anyway, I know that different people have different chore systems. All I'm saying is don't do your children's chores, right? It doesn't serve anyone, and turmeric can help us realize and release that tendency. So, um, 
it's helpful for those people, turmeric is helpful for those people who tend to be the givers in relationships, but they give to the point where they're just kind of being taken advantage of, where, um, and, and they're feeling depleted and they're feeling drained because no one's giving anything in return. Hold on. Anyway, my nose had an itch. Anyway, no one's giving them back stuff in return. So turmeric, again, it helps to balance out those relationships and it can help us realize, you know what? I need to say my needs too. I need to see my needs, my needs too so that my needs can be met too so our relationship can prosper and grow. We both need to have that give and take. Everyone needs to be the giver and the taker in relationships. And giver, like that totally sounds great. Like who doesn't want to be a giver, right? You're a giver. Oh, you're so good. And we think you're a taker. Well, that's bad, right? But it's not bad to be a taker. We just need to make sure we have the proper ratio of give and take, right? You need to be the taker so someone else can be the giver. And when we give, we grow. And when we take, when we're authentic and vulnerable with our needs, we grow too. So turmeric can help with that. Um, and, it, and then lastly on that on that um, note, if you tend to be the person who usually um, gives your all and then gets the short end of the stick, turmeric can help you stand up for what is fair and what is right. Now, I wanted to tell you about two studies that were done with turmeric and turmeric and hold on major depressive disorder so turmeric can help with anxiety and it can help with de de depression so in 2004 there was a study um on combining curcumin with the essential oil of turmeric and um what it found is that it successfully reduced the overall symptoms of depression and also worked as an anti-anxiety agent when taken over a period of six weeks. And that study was done in 2004 and was published in the Journal of Affective Disorders. And then there was another study in 2018 um, that again looked at the... Um, the benefits of the the um, curcumin combined with turmeric essential oil and and saffron and what they found was that a double blind placebo control study that individuals who were treated twice daily with a low dose of this blend for 12 weeks were all effective in decreasing depression and anxiety systems with people with major depressive disorder. I love studies. I love studies. Like they prove what people know. Um, and so can I say that I feel that turmeric essential oil can help with anxiety and depression? Yes, I feel that. And I feel like studies back that up. Okay, so let's talk about blending um, turmeric because I kind of talked to you about it. Um, so don't, the one thing you need to know about um, turmeric essential oil is that it's not like, it's not the most beautiful scent. Okay, so it's not going to be like your wild orange or your lemon or your lime or your ras, not raspberry, your jasmine or your neroli. Like all of those, you like, you people smell those and they're like, oh, that smells so good. Like there might be people out there who think that turmeric smells so good. But it's, um, that's not 100% usually the case. So turmeric is beautiful to be put in as part of a blend. So I'm going to give you some, some um, families of essential oils that you can blend them with. And what the first one is the citrus oils. So if you blend it with a citrus blend, you're going to, it's going to be um, very uplifting. Very, very uplifting. Um, and you're probably going to do, want to do, if I was recommending it, I would do one drop of turmeric to like maybe four drops of your citrus oil that you are using. And that's, I'm going to, I'm going to, I would probably keep um, just one drop of turmeric when you're putting it in a diffuser and a few more drops of whatever else you're blending it with. So if you're 
blending it for more calming. So remember, citrus oil is uplifting. If you're blending it for more calming um, energy, um, what I would suggest is blending it with a flower oil like jasmine like neroli that's gonna be a beautiful those would be beautiful oils to blend for a more calming or even a more romantic blend if you're working on issues for abundance right and we probably all have some issues on that or anyway i would suggest blending it with wild orange or even a roman chamomile both of those can help us look at um abundance in new light and then if you're blending it for sore muscles, now this is not going to be a diffuser blend. This will be more of a topical blend. I would say to um, blend it with wintergreen. Um, you can also blend it with birch and um, it can help with those sore muscles, sore tendons, um, even, even bone pain that way. Okay, so turmeric, some of the, some of the, beautiful, I think I've actually told you everything that I want to tell you about turmeric. So I'm um, just reminding you that the BOGO for today, if you want to buy the single BOGO, it's buy a turmeric for $28 and you get the cheer blend for free, or you can buy all 11 oils in the box and you get the turmeric, the cheer, the Melissa, the tea tree, the hold on using my cheat seat here. Melissa, Deep Blue, Tea Tree, Turmeric, Island Mint, and Cheer, and you get um, five other oils that are just going to be surprise oils. Um, however you buy, whether you buy the BOGO box or whether you buy the individual BOGOs, I think these oils are going to be beautiful tools for you to use in your life and in the lives of others for great physical and emotional health. Okay. This is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have the incredible power with, oh, hold on, reminding you of the song for the day, which is the, um, which is the, um, Happy by Pharrell Williams. And then, oh my gracious, I have my scriptures right here, and I wanted to share with you a scripture I, I can't, and I was thinking, well, we do songs, we do, we do aromatherapy, we do music therapy, we do, um, we do positive affirmations, and the positive affirmation for today is, I will be happy in the day that this, that the Lord has made, and that's actually the scripture, it comes from Psalms, as it, 112.22, I'm not 100% sure on that reference, but um, the scripture basically says, this is the door, this is the day the Lord has made. I will be happy and joyful or something like that. I will put the link, well, I will put the exact scripture in the comments below. But that's the scripture for the day. We're going to start doing scriptures because, you know what? God's word is the best therapy of all. Okay, now just... I couldn't leave, I couldn't close without saying that. Okay, this is Suzanne Williams with, that, with Essential Oils, Health Matters, Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have the incredible power within us, with God, to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.